Today in our 2011 Chevy Traverse, we'll be installing the Kurt 2 inch hitch, part number 13424. This is what our hitch will look like once installed. Next, we're going to give you a couple measurements to assist your selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is 6.5 inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is 18.5 inches. This will assist your selecting accessories such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. Now we'll go ahead with installation. To begin our install, we'll go ahead and point out the attachment points for our hitch. We'll have a total of six attachment points. will be a total of four weld nuts, two in each frame. These weld nuts are built into the frame by the manufacturer. For our center two attachment points, there'll be pre-drilled holes in the bumper structure. Next, we need to remove the rear fascia cover door. To do that, we'll turn the fasteners to unlock them and then pull down, releasing the fasteners underneath. We'll go ahead and set this aside as it will be reinstalled once completed. Next, we'll go ahead and lower the exhaust to gain easier access to installing the hitch. We'll need to remove the rear two rubber isolators. To remove the rubber isolators from the metal hangers, we'll use some spray lubricant and a pry bar and simply push the rubber isolator off of the metal hanger or post. The weld nuts that are built into the frame by the manufacturer will build up with rust, dust, dirt, and debris over time. So I recommend to thoroughly clean them out before attempting to install the new fasteners. To assist in cleaning them out, we'll use some spray lubricant and a half inch nylon tube brush, part number 814092. Then we'll go ahead and take one of the new fasteners and thread it into the weld nut to make sure it'll go nice and easily. We'll utilize the 12 millimeter nut and a half inch conical tooth washer to secure each attachment point at the weld nuts. When installing the hardware, be sure to note that the teeth of the conical tooth washer should face the hitch. The hardware we'll be using to secure our center two attachment points will be the new 12 millimeter nut, a one by three inch square hole spacer, and flange nut. Now we're ready to go ahead and install the hardware into the bumper channel. Taking our half inch bolt leader, going through the attachment point and out the end of the frame. Then we'll slide on our block, thread on the carriage bolt. We'll feed the block into the frame, followed by the carriage bolt. We'll pull them both into position and then go ahead and remove the bolt leader. Note each process we do here on the driver's side will get repeated identically on the passenger side. Now with our hardware in place, we're ready to go ahead and install the hitch. It's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help you hold the hitch while you install the fasteners. We'll raise the hitch up into position, being careful not to push our carriage bolts back up into the frame. We'll install the weld nut fasteners first and then move to our carriage bolt. Once we install the flange nuts finger tight, we can now go ahead and run down all of our hardware. Next, we'll go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated instruction. Now with our hitch secured and torque specification, we'll go ahead and reinstall the exhaust. And now we can go ahead and reinstall the rear bumper fascia, concealing the hitch behind the bumper. We'll simply line the tabs back up and then re-secure the two locking tabs. And that does it for our install of the Kurt 2 inch hitch, part number 13424 on our 2011 Chevy Traverse. 